Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Eliza, I'm an artist and music composer, and this is the first video in a new series I'm starting about animating classic surrealist art. In this series, I will redraw, animate, and compose music based on the vibe of the original artwork. I had a connection already to the painting Dream Symbols by Carlos Medida because I was commissioned by the Wadsworth Museum to write an electronic score for the headphone tour of this painting so that people could listen to it while they learned more about the artwork as they walked around. I wanted to find a way to share this project with you on YouTube and got inspiration by the artist Pipa who has an amazing series about redrawing famous artworks in her style. And I thought I could create my own version of that by animating specifically surrealist paintings and writing my own music to go along with it. So in this video, I will give you some interesting information about the painting Dream Symbols by Carlos Medida. I'll talk to you about my animating style and I will talk to you about his approach to painting. I really hope you enjoy and thanks so much for watching this video. For the first painting in this animation series, I chose Dream Symbols by Carlos Medida. Dream Symbols was painted in 1934, and it's a great example showing Medida's ability to fuse surrealism and nationalist muralism, utilizing non-representational forms that elicit transcendence of reality while subconsciously including Mayan motifs. The concept of using realistic objects as symbols in a non-representational setting lends itself perfectly to abstract animation that flows and loops with complete disregard of time and space. Merida received his initial art training in Guatemala. When he was 17, he moved to Paris and traveled throughout Europe. In Paris, he was influenced by the work of modern artists like Picasso, as well as Mexican modernist artists who were working there then as well, such as Diego Rivera. After returning to Guatemala a few years later, he committed himself to foraging a style authentic to his homeland, while also writing articles on the topic of Mexican popular art. He moved to Mexico to assist Diego Rivera on his first mural for the National Preparatory School in Mexico City, thus briefly becoming part of the then flourishing Mexican muralist movement. In this specific painting, Dream Symbols, which was completed about 10 years after his muralist phase, he's still using tempera paint, which was the original, if not ancient, muralist medium. This is significant because many other surrealists at the time were using oil or print, some were still using tempera, but to use tempera on canvas was a very unique medium that Merida preferred. His fascination with geometry and muralism led to a fresh nationalist art determined not to mimic pre-Columbian ideology and express Americanism through avant-garde depictions of Guatemalan and Mexican pop culture. Medida realized that museums in Paris tended to display aesthetic and decontextualized versions of specific cultural histories, and feared that the fashion for the indigenous could turn depictions of local cultures into a colonialist, exotic pastiche. Unlike many of his contemporaries, Medida asserted that indigenous art should only be a point of departure for the artist. Thus, in the 1930s, he intensely studied Mayan culture for two years, followed by a trip back to Paris. Here, Merida's style underwent a complete transformation. He had visions to coin and define an authentic Latin American art in the modern era that would find inspiration in, but not copy, pre-Columbian art and contemporary folk culture. Merida said that to do this, he felt the need to study again the intimate mechanism of painting at its roots, so he left for Paris and soon after discovered surrealism. Surrealism offered an escape from the folklore and from social realism that dominated Mexican painting and allowed him to negotiate a space between the two. Though Medida's connection to surrealism was never highly visible, he contributed greatly to the surrealists' understanding of Mexico in the 1940s and the 1950s. My approach to animating this piece stems mostly from my desire to add movement to elements of the piece that already produce movement themselves by the way that they're drawn and shaded. The colorful blobs of ink floating behind the tangible figures and symbols within this piece feel like they are existing on a different dimensional plane and 
blend into each other freely on the canvas. The reason I traced the artwork directly was to keep the proportions exactly the same as the original so that I could have more freedom with the elements that I wanted to animate. This exercise allowed me to focus more on shading, color, and texture within the digital animation process. It was a fun study, and I learned a lot about Carlos Medida's painting style through this reimagination. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed my reanimation of Dream Symbols by Carlos Medida. If you liked this and you want to see more, make sure that you subscribe because I will do more videos of this uh, and reanimation series. And maybe go visit your local museum because I'm sure they have some really cool art to get inspired by.